Ever used a Samsung feature that made you stop and think, wait, why wasn't this here before? One UI 8.0 is full of those quiet game changers. It's not just another Android skin update. It's Samsung silently overhauling the way we interact with our devices without shouting about it. Hey, welcome back viewers. Sam here. If you love discovering hidden gems and smart upgrades before everyone else, like the video, share it with your tech squad, and don't forget to subscribe for more crisp breakdowns like this one. Now let's jump in, because there's a lot that's new. Some of it you definitely haven't seen yet. Let's start with something that feels like magic, a hidden, private album, inside the gallery app, not visible by default, not searchable through my files, and locked behind biometrics. To activate it, you need to unlock Gallery Labs first. Yeah, that's right, the Experimental Tools section. Tap the version info multiple times in Gallery Settings, Enable Labs, and boom, you'll find a new toggle to enable the secret vault. It only shows up in one UI 8, not 7. Move sensitive photos or videos here, and they disappear from regular search. It's privacy, but the Ninja version. But that's just a warm up. Ever wished your Galaxy Buds were easier to manage? Samsung heard you. In One UI 8, once your Buds 3 are connected, a new shortcut shows up right inside the main settings menu. No more diving into the wearable app. Just one tap and you're in. This doesn't exist in One UI 7. It's small, but makes a huge difference when you're on the go. Now for one of my favorite updates, the calculator app, I know sounds boring, until you realize Samsung just solved a daily frustration. In previous versions, scientific mode only worked in landscape. But now in One UI 8, it's available in portrait mode, so no more awkward phone tilting during quick math checks. Plus, history and ruler tools now slide in with smooth animations instead of jarring pop-ups. Ready for more visual upgrades. The My Files app has gotten a serious facelift. No more clunky scrolling just to find more options. Everything's front and center. Categories sit at the top, recent files below, and a new toggle lets you limit searches to just recent files. It's faster, cleaner, and way more intuitive. Let's talk about Edge Panel's AI Select tool. In One UI 7, you had to wait a beat before selecting an area of your screen. That wait gone. Now, it's instant. Start drawing your selection the moment you tap. No lag, no delay. It feels so snappy, it's almost addictive. Samsung DeX also got a massive glow up. Imagine vertical monitor support, new window docking options, and a centralized app tray that scrolls vertically with alphabetical sorting. You can now pin apps, dock windows left or right with a quick tap, and multitask like never before. It feels closer to a desktop than any previous DeX version. Then there's modes and routines. Samsung's automation playground. In One UI 8, it's gone deeper. You now get categories like adaptive routines and useful on the go, plus powerful new triggers like call ended and actions like showing a specific Samsung note or tracking calories. It's like Tasker, but with a clean UI. We'll dive deeper into automation tricks in a future video, so keep that bell icon on. Even small tweaks, like in the calendar app, show Samsung's focus on refinement. Instead of long pressing the plus to choose between events or reminders, now it opens a new interface with a cleaner selection layout. Might seem minor, but it's all about that polished feel. Last but not least, App Tray Search got a serious UI refresh. The default view now shows eight apps without requiring show more. Downloads and screenshots are stacked with visual clarity, and you'll notice smoother transitions when collapsing or expanding search result panels. It's not revolutionary, but it feels more modern and fluid. And remember that tiny but clever tweak, the scientific calculator in portrait mode. It might just be the update that signals how serious Samsung is about real-world usability in One UI 8. The stable rollout is planned around August, and depending on how smooth Beta 2 runs, we could see it earlier on Z Fold 6, Flip 6, and even the S24 series. So what do you think? Are these changes exciting or just subtle polish? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every one of them. If this breakdown helped, hit that like button. It really supports the channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, now's a great time. We've got more insider updates and hidden tips coming your way soon. Catch you in the next one. Cheers!